here we go. Working on the go-kart, doing a few upgrades. The most easily notable is the seat here that we purchased off of Amazon. It was like 25 bucks for this. It's a boat seat. It's got four mounting holes right there. And we also took the time to move this entire seat back as far as it would go with the stock mounts. So that's going to end up going right there once we get that figured out. So the fenders now fit nice and trim. If you guys remember, they were up in here. And then Mr. Noisy over here is working on the relocation of the steering bar. So it was here. We've moved it down here for better leverage. And then what did we do here? We, we found a piece of metal and we... Uh, use the bandsaw to cut it, cut a notch out. People will have it fit on this uh, round surface. There we go. So this is now extended out a little bit. So the theory here is that leverage-wise, we should have a 3 to 1 leverage ratio between the two, which should make it easier to steer and hold on to. Hopefully by the end of today, we'll be testing that theory. What do you think? Sure. All right. That, that's a great face for video. Okay. Anyways. So we got John testing out sitting in it, because John is the shortest of the three of us that could potentially be on it. And what I've done is ordered up a really extreme cheap set of brake and gas pedals off of Amazon. And really I only wanted the gas pedal, but we had debated the idea of potentially making this a cable brake system later. So what we've got is a bolt right there we've got a couple of holes here already on this chassis so we're going to take a piece of square stock we're going to cut it down drill some holes through it that we can bind into these so that this can sit here in order to be able to make our gas pedal for this we've still got the brake handle on that side right there go ahead and show them that so as you can see, John can reach that okay, even with sliding the seat back a little bit, which gives him some growing room. And we'll go from there. Really old machinist trick, nothing new here, but if you take some really thick grease and you put it right where the holes are, then it takes next to nothing to set it down and then line it up and you can see where the initial smudge was and then where I moved it to to line it up. So now I have a spot that I know I can drill for the holes. Plus the grease makes the drilling go easier. Keeping with the junkyard freebie type idea. These are foot wells off of a GT5000 Craftsman. They're a really common junkyard tractor because the decks rot out and warp and do stupid things and then people usually just scrap them after that. So these, I cut a board in order to bring them to the kind of angle that I wanted so that I could weld them in place. But what I'm doing here is I'm going to take this and we're going to bend it straight up. Because as you can see right now, if we were trying to use the brake handle going forward, we would run into all of this. So if I bend it straight up so that it goes through here, we just cut a slit and go for it. And that's where we're at right now. Hopefully we'll be tinkering it around the yard soon. There we go. These are all welded on. As you can see, the brake goes right up through there without any issue. John can sit in here in his feet can lay out against these without them moving at all. But the real big thing is that we got a rear brace done. As you can see, I put a little tag piece in underneath it out of some 3 16 so that it'll bounce rather than smash right directly into there. 
And this is just some throwaway steel. It came out of some metal pallets and stuff. No expense there. That little strap plate there is from my, when I built my dragster. I cut out a section of frame. As you can see, it's even got the punch outs for all the different Craftsman attachments still on it. So at this point, we're going to get the tires back on it in a little bit, fire it up, and go take it for a test drive. Before we get this rolled off of here in order to go take it for a test drive, I realized I really hadn't done a once-over on this. So this is a basic, regular gas pedal, brake pedal, whatever setup off of a go-kart. And the idea being that you have your cable gets held in here, and that goes right here, and you can adjust it up and down depending on what you're working with. And this right here acts as your return stop. That's why I had to cut it out so it would come back just a little bit further. We ended up in an issue here, which is partially my design here is the problem. I have a ton of throw between here and here. And so running this so it came back on the top of this ended up not being enough. So I had to cut it out to get it to go just a little bit further. So now this travels the entire distance. As you can see, it moves all of that now, the entire distance it needs to. And if we come around here, you can see exactly how the spring is set up in case you need to do one yourself. Now the reason why we did this was I wanted to see whether we could build this potentially as a standalone for racing tractors or things like that. And it definitely works as a standalone setup. So we'll be building something else out of the brake because John likes the brake handle in order to e-brake it, I guess. But there we go. Hey, look at what followed me home. More go-karts. And we're back with the good camera. So John says the steering fix definitely was worth doing. So we're going to take it up on the ATV trail and go from there. Right, John? So what were you saying about the gas pedal? Uh, I need to do right here because uh, my kneecap is Okay. So, you know, of course the guy who didn't build it ends up being the critic. Alright, so we had a learning experience. For those of you that are going to build one, put it that further over. I hate to say it, I'm probably going to be lazy and just mount a plate to it or something. Just to bring it over. Alright, let's go test it.
guys, I'd say that works out really good. Um, in the steering, we need to find a slight in between on the steering because we've lost slight lock to lock. Um, so we need to fix that just a little bit. The throttle will be fine once we remove the governor. We'll definitely be a lot faster. And yeah, let us know in the comments down below. What would you do for your next upgrade if you had 50 bucks?